All right, uh, 13 minutes before we say goodbye here on Morning Live, Finance Minister Malusi Kigaba has welcomed South Africa's number one ranking out of 150 countries alongside New Zealand in the 2017 Open Budget Index, or OPI. Dr. Kay Brown is the Chief Director for Expenditure Planning in the Budget Office of the Treasury, and she joins us this morning because this survey assesses the availability of eight key budget documents, and it considers uh, the comprehensiveness of data in these documents. But she's here, she explain to us further as to how um, we've got to occupy this position. Dr. K, good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming through. Good morning. Now, just simplify this award for us. What, what does it mean for us as South Africans? Well, I think it's a, a, a great um, commendation of all our efforts. I think the most important thing to realize is that this is an international assessment that is done completely independently. Mm -hmm. And so it really does put us up there amongst the global leaders. Yeah. And the last time we were in the first position was in 2010. Sure. But the assessment is done every two years and we've never gone beyond the third position. So, so we are able to maintain the budget reforms that we've introduced. And I think the cherry on top mm -hmm. is that our budget reform is a South African budget reform. It is not determined by any international organization yeah. or any donor organization. These are our own internal efforts and these are the efforts that wow. are Wow, this being is what rewarded. we need after so many downgradings. But then uh, you may be lauded for uh, transparency in budget processes. How inclusive and perhaps usable is the budget for ordinary South Africans? So I think the short answer to that is it isn't enough Obviously, as South Africa, we have obviously been trying to do this over a number of years, and I think you'll know, everybody will know, the People's Guide we've been issuing for about two decades, and we issue that alongside our budget and as part of our budget documents in all 11 languages. But in the last uh, couple of years, we've really been trying to extend our budget outreach. We've gone out to universities, different universities, to university students, and we've started speaking to various civil society uh, groupings. And in actual fact, in our discussion with them, we have come to the conclusion, and in actual fact, we're in partnership uh, with civil societies under the umbrella group of Imalietu, mm. um, who are helping us to design a budget portal which will be separate from our website. And on this budget portal, we will seek to put our information out there in a way that the public finds usable. And we're going to ask the public about what you want to see and how you want to see it. And you'll be able to use the data to analyze and then also to put your opinions out there about public policy based on yeah. that analysis. Yeah. Now, going back to the report itself, how, how is it put together? So it's released every two years, but what do they look into? Okay, so essentially, as you mentioned, they take eight uh, budget documents and they check, first of all, whether those budget documents are freely accessible um, and whether or not those documents are made available timely. Uh, in a timely manner. So uh, are they published literally when the information is still relevant? Those budget documents span from the budget planning process even before, for example, the, what they call the pre-budget statement, which for us is the medium-term budget policy statement. Uh, we issue that, all the documents that go along with the budget, including the appropriation bills, the budget law, the monitoring, in-year monitoring of expenditure and so on, and even the annual reports and the auditor's reports. So they check a whole lot of, of, of reports and look at how comprehensive the information is within those reports. Mm, mm. All right, and we know it's Feb now and all eyes will be on the Finance Minister Malusi Gigaba in a few weeks' time. Does this sort of put pressure on you as the department as we enter this budget month to sort of remain consistent in the work that you've been doing all along? Well, I think uh, the first thing to note is that our budget reform efforts are genuine. So mm -hmm. they are always consistent, and I think they're consistent beyond a month. They have been demonstrated to be consistent um, over the last uh, you know, decade, and in actual fact, since our democracy, obviously in terms of this uh, uh, assessment only over the last decade, because that's mm -hmm. when they've been doing the assessment. Uh, we don't do... The, anything that we do in our budget reform, we don't do just because we want a particular tick on a particular rating uh, or because it's fashionable and other countries are doing it. Um, essentially, we really, these are our reforms. We own them and we want them to work for us as South Africans. Yeah, and why is it important that South Africa has an open budget? Why is this not impacting 
on our ratings maybe and so on? Okay, so I think it's very important that we have an open budget. It's important that every South African understands where their tax money is going, which departments get how much money and what it is that they will be spending that money on. It's also important that that information is trusted, that if we say all the expenditure across all the departments uh, come to a particular total, yeah. that that is exactly what it will cost. Um, mm -hmm. And I think in terms of the ratings agencies, they use our data. And what they do is they then t obviously take a view on that data. They look and project what they think mm -hmm. the future trends will be. The assessment could be positive or negative, but I can assure you yeah. that if the data wasn't credible and open, it is not really possible to have very positive ratings. All right, so does the report perhaps reflect on areas that needs to be uh, improved on? Yes, the report does uh, uh, show certain areas, and I think those areas are not a surprise or new news to mm -hmm. us, uh, nor to uh, any of the, the people that have been working on the budget out there in the public. Uh, they've asked specifically certain things from the Treasury in terms of a little more detail in terms of, for example, revenue and so on. And then there's some other recommendations from the report for other bodies and institutions like, for example, for Parliament and the Auditor General. And so we will continue our discussions with mm. them around opening um, the pro their own processes also uh, further in terms of public participation. All right, Dr. Brown, we'll leave it at that for now. Thank you so much for coming through and all the best with your budget coming up in a few weeks' time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Dr. K. Brown is the Chief Director for Expenditure Planning at uh, National Treasury. We were talking about the recognition of her team's work with South Africa being ranked first in the 2017 Open Budget Index.